2023 models. Look what we found. This, that now Azure is absolutely stunning, so do not miss that. Such, such a good layer. Even with your bedding on, you can still get all the way around that easy. Oh, it's been a busy old day today. We uh, would hope to do quite a few videos and it's uh, it's not happened as yet. We've been quite busy. Uh, we've got the Caravan NEC coming up in October, um, which will go to Germany to look at the caravans, but we can't be bothered to go to the NEC, can we? Uh, unfortunately, we're gonna be away, so we can't do the NEC this year ourselves. But what we have been looking on, what I've been looking at today actually, is we're starting to get uh, a few different things coming to the NEC this year, which actually when we were over in Dusseldorf at the Caravan Salon, you'll be able to see at the NEC. So first of all, obviously Adria. Adria has been over in the UK for a long time. Um, and we looked at some fantastic models, which I'm going to be showing you some of those now that we looked at at the Caravan Salon Dusseldorf. So they're going to be coming up now and that's going to show you a quick walk around the Adria stand in Dusseldorf. So we're going to have a look at the Adria stand. And so we've got the Adria Adora that we're going to have a quick look inside of. So this is the 613 PK, 35,000 euros at the back. Nice big lounge. We've seen quite a few of these big lounges and it does make a big difference with a big, big side lounge. We've got the fixed bed. And then our washroom. Have we got a proper shower in there? So yeah, we've got a proper shower in there. A nice kitchen unit sort of. We've seen a few of these integrated kitchen and hob units. Again, we don't get the oven in the European models, but really, really nice. Look at that fridge, nice, yeah, really nice big fridge freezer there. The Thetford fridge freezers. Really, really nice and the little, no, no microwave again, um, but lots of storage, lots of storage. A uh, couple of TV points as well. We've got the Truma blown air heating. The new Adria control panels that are just up above the door. Um, they look really cool, don't they? We've not seen this for, or not in the UK, for quite a while. Can anybody spot something a bit different on this one? Two doors. It's not two caravans, it's two doors on one caravan. It's the Adria Doris 673 PK. It can go up to two and a half tonne. 3699. Um, and then with all the extras, straight up to 42. Um, how, I don't know, I don't, it, is it just a gimmick having two doors? Again, we're seeing a few with the Fricks beds up the front. That big lounge at the side, it, it's, it's really nice. And then it's almost like a different caravan at the back, isn't it? Shaping those that's, cupboards. Yeah, that's really, really cool. Nice big fridge freezer. Yeah, same fridge freezer as the one that we looked in previously and then a nice separate shower and toilet. The door opens that way. So again, good, good washroom facilities. Nice having a proper, proper shower, but we do just lose out on that, that slightly maybe. And then again, this nice lounge at the back, so you can sort of shut the kids off. Um, the only, I don't, can they escape then out the back? Yeah, but then is that a good thing? You can get rid of them. <laughs> Again, we've got the Adria app here. So this is what the Adria app looks like. And then next up, we've got the little Adria Altea 432 PX. 1300 kilos this, so a nice lightweight, 22,000 euros, got the sort of blown air heating in this one, the Truma, blown air heating with a proper fire with the blown air vents around, nice little lounge oh, that, this is lovely, this is. So that's not 
for a lightweight van, yeah. which again, I think is going to be, for, especially for the UK market, it's going to be a big thing. Um, I think we're going to want to see more lightweight vans for electric cars, etc. Again, nice finish, no oven, and again, it's, it's just the European thing. Um, but yeah, that lounge is lovely. Doesn't feel tiny, it feels really nice and spacious. And as I say, what was it, 1200? 1300 kilos, 1060 as it stands here now. The Aviva, it's got the, the stipply sort of effect on there again. So this is the Aviva 563 PT, uh, 50, well between 1500 and 1800 kilos depending on the specs, 20, well between 22 and a half and 25,000 euros. That's nice nice big washroom in that. So again, yeah, nice, nicely finished off. It's, we've got the little, let's go back a little bit. We've got the little action. I love this type of little van. Um, sort of 1,300 kilos, 22,000 euros. So a real good price range van. Proper combined shower and toilet, a great kitchen area. Big fridge freezer again. Yeah. Yeah. And then again, yeah, that makes storage. into nice big door bed at the front. And again, you can use that as two single beds. You're not going to make that up. Massive area here. Look at these big wide yeah, doors. look at the look at the size of that storage. So again, you uh, you forget when you're inside of this, you forget actually that we're in the little one. Yeah, it, it feels far bigger than what it actually. Just have a look from the outside again. What the size of that is. Let's have a look at it from the front. It feels far bigger than that inside. It feels massive. Yeah. That's really good. Like that. Uh, something again, just looking at something really, really special. Um, the Alpina 663 PT. I think this is really good value for money. Uh, 50,000 euros with all of the extras. We're into that two ton, so it's a heavy, heavy van for a single axle. But come back and have a look at that door. I love that door. That's probably one of the top things, one of the best things that I've seen glass. at the show. That's why it's so heavy. It's glass, isn't it? It's not plastic. Yeah, that's proper glass. Yeah, that's dangerous. Wow. <laughs> And again, we sort of, we've got the bed at the front. Just have a look how we sort of go into the alcove. So let's just try and use the push buttons here. Ah, there we go. Whoa, that's better. So get some lights on. All around the bottom of the bed as well. I think that is stunning. I, I think that this is one of the the nicest fans that we've actually seen. I like the shape of these cupboards. I think, yeah, they're really nice. You've got the leather, um, you've got the layout. That is a cracking, a such, well. such a good layer. Even with your bedding on, you can still get all the way around that easy. Um, did you notice the little touch light here? No. Uh, the little lamp? Yeah, the little lamp. I so, the lamp, but, oh yeah. Uh, TV points, so you can have a TV here that then can swish around and into the lounge. We do get a little oven and grill in this. We've got the hob and then we've got that nice big fridge freezer. Right, you still get the fold down sink in the washroom, don't you? I think I could live with that. Yeah. I think I could live with that. I like this. I really like this. Yeah, it's just got a nice feel. 
Şey Bunun mesela arkada bu modelle değil. Bir modelde karşılıklı banyo duşu var. Yeah, we've got media control, so um, you can control sort of your, your sound system and whatever, you, the lighting. I don't know. Um, it's going to be interesting as we go around and see more. I think it's this door. I really just like this. I really like this window. I love that door. Um, the only thing that sort of beats that on the Adria stand, and again, it depends how you look at it, But it's the Adria Estella 704 HP, um, 75,000 euros. But this is this is a static on wheels. What was the weight on this? Uh, about two and a half, three thousand, three ton. So, but that is with about 650 kilo payload. So the the payload on this is massive. You can put a lot in here. And again, we've just got the little door that we saw on the other Adria previously we've got the big full patio doors front and back have a look in here I think this is stunning absolutely stunning got the little Corian worktops in here got the nice fridge freezer loads of storage space a st absolutely stunning sort of lounge area and then as again, as we go to the back, we've got a separate shower and toilet, so have a look at that shower. That's oh, wow, beautiful. That hasn't got one of those horrible plastic shower Absolutely trays. beautiful. And then we can shut the front and the back off. I can live with that. I can live with that. Actually, have a look at that sink in there. Is it better? I can live with that. Oh, touch it. Touch the sink. Oh, it's Corian again? Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. That's nice. Is that the best fold down sink you've ever seen? I think it? it could be. And then, at the back... Oh, nice. You know, proper you bed. Parked right next to the beach or something. That'd, yeah. And then you could, like, get a sea views. And again, you've got the aircon in there. They do do it with the LED strip all the way oh, around the yeah. outside. Is this the back? Yeah, so this is the back end. Yeah, so you've got that picture, all that sort of sunroofy window, front and back. Can you just imagine that with the awning out? Now we've got some absolutely stunning, stunning models and layouts and that big one that we could put onto a site, that was absolutely stunning. Um, but you're not really going to see any of that at the NEC, unfortunately. The layouts that Adria do on the European market is completely, completely different to what we see in the UK market, which is a real shame because the one with the big patio door, um, the Alpina, was it? I think it was absolutely stunning van and a real real good layout that i think could sell well in the uk the other one is the nouse azure now we've not got a lot of footage of the nouse azure um, we had a bit of technical issue but that is going to be at the nec i'll put up now quickly what we've got of that but that was an absolutely stunning stunning caravan i've just spotted the uh, the new nouse azure um, which is this little bad boy here this, this has got uh, healing technology. Healing technology? Healing technology. Is it one of the Avengers? Uh, it is, basically. The, the, the body on this uh, is a new new design. Um, I can't remember what it was actually called, but basically... Like the frame. 
That's the one. Yeah, fibre frame. So and it's the, all up there. They 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 say it's that it, it, banner, it fixes it? itself. Is it not like right there? Let's have a look round. Um, see if we can find another one. No, I'm not. I'm not brave enough to actually punch it. To be honest. Have a look in that. I want uh, I want Shane to have a look in this in a minute because this is absolutely top class. The lighting in these is is amazing, and then the storage. There's cupboards all sort of down the sides. Uh, behind the seating, there's there's more storage. Have a look in that. I want uh, I want Shane to have a look in this in a minute because this is absolutely top class. The lighting in these is is amazing, and then the storage. There's cupboards all sort of down the sides. Uh, behind the seating, there's there's more storage. Have a look in that. So it's, it's a shame that we didn't get more of that Naus Azure. You're also going to be seeing the Desio possibly at the NEC. There's the Sport and Fun, and they do a Sport and Fun Black Edition. Um, so put those up now so you can have a look at those too. And it can go up to 1700. So we've got 390 kilograms of payload on there. And that is what it looks like. I really, really like that little uh, sport and fun. And they've also now got, for 2023, the Black Edition. So that there is the Black Edition, which in all the essence is very, very similar to the sport and fun, um, but obviously just in the black selection. So probably just a little bit more classy sort of look than the Sport and Fun. But again, a nice little van. And where I've shown you the other one, the storage underneath of the bed. So that is the storage space that we get underneath of that bed. And it is accessible from inside, but obviously you can open the two side lockers and the side lockers on both sides so you can actually get into that and you start to see actually where the the weight of this is um 26 000 euros for it with the black edition but what i say little um i suppose it's not that little really is it it is a good sized van um but yeah i like that and then coming inside, we've got the different effect. Very, very similar to the layout that we've just looked at. So, albeit sort of same design, but just different colours. So, we've got the different colour scheme that ties in with that sort of uh, black selection. And again, you can see the big door there for the access from outside. What a cracking, cracking... A little van i do like these and again you've got the air conditioning in the roof there now another one here is the naus desio i believe it is um i might not have that right because i've not looked at the what's name the screen but i'm pretty sure it is it is the desio 400 tr so we've looked previously at the sport and fun which was the blue one we'd got the black selection which was up the other side so we've got two doors on the little sport and fun now we've got more of a upright feature in this one so it gives us more headroom gives us more room inside but have a look at this door at the back how good is that so we're getting bigger items in even quad bikes now, let me just stop you just before you come too close because the party feature, obviously, 
is the door coming up the back but when you're then sat inside if you're out there looking at the beach we've got the fly screens on that back door again which is a fantastic design such a good feature um, like I say if you were to take this to the beach sat there with that back door open only me you can just imagine sort of looking over the sun shutting your fly screens um, and just having tremendous views the other party feature then is our drop down bed <laughs> so basically that back bed will come down to make up a a proper double bed in there have a look behind you uh, good kitchen area but then at the front here nice little washroom um, shower room which the curtain will come across to make it into a separate shower and toilet basically you're still going to end up having to dry the floor again nice little units here again some of the furniture you can fold up put away you can move some of that around but again huge bits of workspace here plenty of storage big storage lockers on these two doors even more storage space but in reality what 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 do you need all this room for here what what's all this achieving well it's obviously for storage hmm. so if you've got uh canoes kayaks it's to be able to actually travel with it and again it feels massive inside is there actually, a good payload on the these then i will have a look at the payload in a minute a little sort of I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hide the price, I'm not oh, going to yeah. tell you what the price is. Here we go. Probably not best to have a look at the price. Okay then. Um, but we've got... Um, 200 kilos. We've been thrown out now. We've been here so long, we've been thrown out. So we're at 1541 kilograms and we've got a total payload of 2,000 kilos, which for a small little van, um, it's heavy, isn't it? Two yeah, tons. it is, but then so you can get all your stuff in. Exactly, so you can have a lot of things in there. Hopefully you've enjoyed our little sport, fun, smaller, um, little vans i think we're going to voice over this because we can't hear a thing and yeah um i think i think there's some real interesting things um that you're going to be seeing and actually some of those caravans are actually traveled from the dusseldorf show over to the uk i believe um some of the nows more than the Adrias, obviously but interesting to see the differences between the uk variants and the the European models and um, whether we start to see a bit more of the European market coming into the UK market with the layouts or not it, only time is going to tell but uh, if you go to the NEC have a good look at those and now and again the sport and fun you will you'll be amazed at how much room is actually in that um, let us know your thoughts in the comments if you've been to the NEC and you've now come back and had a look at these different ones in the European market uh, again let us know your thoughts between the UK and the European markets thanks for watching I'm Mark at the Caravan Place we're at the Caravan Salon Dusseldorf 2022 looking at the 2023 models look what we found something a little bit more from home so we're going to take you around and we're going to have a look at what the difference is for the european sprite 2023 range so we've got a base camp there and then some of the sprites as they're called over in europe we've got different names obviously compared to what we've got in the uk uh, 42,000 euros but again layouts color schemes etc very very similar Like a light, lighting up in the dark You make it right, I forgot how to act It's so plastic Every time you make me nervous and I lose my words It's been
been a while since I forgot the most simple words. Obviously, you're going to recognise the little base camp, which again we'll have a proper look at in a minute. But again, we'll just have a quick look at the it's the base camp two that we've had before. Room in this because we've looked at other things. I don't know what the price of the UK. They were about twenty five grand, which I think is going to be somewhere near. But again, like we just said about the export costs to Europe, is is more. And again, we'll have a look and we'll have a compare of the different layouts, prices and models to what we've got in the UK. Should we have a base camp three in the UK? Uh, yeah, four. So again, we're going to have a good look around and uh, see what the difference is on the European market. So again, a very busy stand. Um, even though sort of the, it, it, it's still, it's the same as what we've got in the UK with the Europe or the UK models, um, which is completely different to what is sort of used to on the European stands and the models. But again, they're obviously selling really well over here in Dusseldorf. I'm trying to jump in the Mondial. So we've got the Mondial 420 SE, uh, just about 30,000 euros. Still nice and lightweight, so a 1,350 as an absolute maximum. 1,045 as it stands here now. And again, this is our two berth layout. So again, a lot different to a lot of the European models that we've been looking at. We've got our proper hob, grill and oven all proper separate ones and again got our proper separate shower and toilet at the back so essentially exactly the same fittings and fitments as what we've got in the UK so it's quite nice to see sort of a bit of uh, home comfort and furniture from the UK build and everything is obviously still by the Swift and they're just exported over to the European market with the left hand door. So we've got the Cruiser 635SR, which again is going to be similar to what we've got in the UK. We've got the island bed at the back. We're coming in at 44,000 euros. Got a maximum weight of 2,000 kilos, which is upgradable to, and we're 1585 as we stand here now. So again, we've got the Cruiser 520 SR, which has got the island bed at the back and our centre washroom. Again, really, really popular model that we have. And this is probably one of our most popular models in the UK. So you can see layout wise exactly the same as what we've used to in the UK. Um, just obviously door on the wrong side. Again, we've got the proper Swift command unit. So we haven't got the, uh, the older panels in, in the European models. We've got the proper Swift connect unit and control panel. And to that one. Oh, was it not? No. Ah, right, so that was... Uh, Ah, uh, that was the Mondial, so that was a slightly, slightly lower spec, yeah. whereas the Cruiser is sort of a slightly higher spec. So that is the uh, the Sprite or the Swift stand on the European market. Obviously, left-hand door, uh, very, very similar to sort of what we're looking at, which is quite bizarre, surrounded by all the European models and uh, with their different, completely different layouts. But it's a really busy stand. We're and struggling like to actually... actually selling stuff. It wasn't just... Yeah, no, it's not yet. Sales are going through, so... Um, yeah, it's obviously... They like our stuff, even in Europe. 
Thanks for watching, I'm Mark at The Caravan Place.